Hi, I'm Andrew Levine, the CEO of Open Orchard, where we're developing the Aquinas blockchain. And I'm very excited to announce that on October 13th, we'll be releasing a brand new cryptocurrency named Coin, that's with a K, onto the Ethereum network that you'll be able to mine using just the CPU in a regular computer. The mining period will last for six months, at which point we'll be launching the Coinos mainnet, which will airdrop tokens based entirely on the Ethereum mining. There will be no ICO. And that's because our goal with this launch strategy is to distribute the tokens as widely as possible for the purpose of maximizing decentralization. At Open Orchard, we genuinely believe that Coinos could usher in a new era of decentralized computing that will empower everyone to own their digital selves. And we want as many people as possible to have a stake in that future. That's why we're launching the token on Ethereum, the blockchain with the most active users. That's why we put a lot of work into ensuring that the mining algorithm is both memory hard and GPU resistant so that anyone with a decent CPU can acquire coin through mining without having to compete with massive GPU mining rigs or ASICs. That's also why we're providing a desktop mining program with an intuitive graphical user interface that'll make it easy for ordinary people to participate in the mining process. There's a version for every operating system. Unfortunately, you do have to fund the miner with ETH in order to pay the transaction fees, but well, that's what happens when you don't have a fee-less blockchain, which segues nicely into why you might be interested in mining coin in the first place. Why will anyone want to use this new blockchain when there are already so many others? Engineering Coinos is a group of battle-hardened blockchain developers with unrivaled experience as the core developers and architects of the BitShares and Steam blockchains, two of the most used blockchains ever. It was through our first-hand experience working with some of the most performant blockchains in the world and their shortcomings that we learned about the most serious problems facing the mass adoption of this technology. This knowledge has enabled us to improve on these older technologies and build something better and faster. Our mission is to give everyone ownership of their digital selves, and we believe that blockchain is the most promising technology for accomplishing this mission. Blockchain-based applications can add value to people's lives in countless ways, but building such applications is far too difficult, time-consuming, and expensive. In order to accomplish our mission, we need to dramatically expand the quantity of blockchain-powered applications in existence and the number of people capable of using those applications, which is why we're building a brand new blockchain from the ground up to make it fast, easy, and affordable to build blockchain-based applications that aren't just functional, but are capable of delighting their users. Our first major innovation actually lies below the blockchain and is the world's first blockchain framework designed to give blockchain developers like us the ability to rapidly build, launch, and upgrade a blockchain entirely through Wasm smart contracts that are running in the virtual machine. The modular design of this framework, plus the fact that these smart contracts can be upgraded without a hard fork or in band, unlocks a new blockchain superpower that we call modular upgradability. And modular upgradability resolves one of the biggest challenges that's facing existing blockchains, which is how difficult they are to upgrade. Modular upgradability enables us to rapidly add different features to the framework without impacting any other part of the blockchain. That's how we'll be able to offer a test app in just three months that delivers Ethereum feature parity, but with Wasm smart contracts, fast block times, and fee-less transactions. While the testnet will feature proof of work, the Coinos blockchain framework makes it easy for us to swap that consensus algorithm out for the totally new and different algorithm that we're developing specifically for the Coinos mainnet. At Open Orchard, we pride ourselves on being developer obsessed, which is why Coinos will enable developers to use the programming languages that they already know and love thanks to Wasm integration. Coinos will start with C++ support followed soon after by TypeScript, and then whatever programming languages that developers want most, like .NET and Go. But the benefits of modular upgradability continue after mainnet launch, because individual upgrades can be pushed to the network, much like an operating system patch, but with an on-chain record of the entire path that the upgrade took. So instead of having to package critical upgrades into time-consuming political and risky hard forks that have a high degree of uncertainty, Individual fixes can be pushed to the network the moment that they're ready, enabling Coinos to rapidly improve itself. It's that capability that we believe makes Coinos the first blockchain in history capable of evolution. Now, after upgradability, the next major challenge facing existing blockchains is scalability. 
the fact that blockchains only grow in size, holding on to every transaction and smart contract that's ever been added to it, even the ones that never get used. The cost of lugging around all of this expensive data gets baked into the cost of every new transaction, which itself adds even more information to the chain. All of this old and unused data is responsible for the vast majority of the cost of running a blockchain. But what if we could remove all of that data while retaining the ability to bring it back to life as if it had never left, like magic? Eliminating these costs would be a major leap in accomplishing our goal to dramatically increase the number of blockchain applications and users, which is why Coinos has that superpower too. We call it state paging, and Coinos is the first blockchain ever to have it. Not only is this a genuine innovation that could be the very key to scaling blockchain to the masses, but existing blockchains like EOS and Ethereum can't take advantage of this technology without totally re-architecting their entire blockchain. Now, I saved state paging for last because it's both highly innovative and highly experimental. Now, all of the algorithms have been written and tested. We know that we can page data out and back in without any loss in trustlessness. State paging works. What we're not 100% sure about is how much the memory savings will outweigh additional bandwidth consumption. But that's mainly because we just don't know how people will ultimately use Coinos. In our tests, we found that we're state paging a part of existing blockchains. State size could be decreased by as much as 78%. And that number would only increase as the blockchain got older. If we see similar numbers on Coinos, then state paging will be a game changer. It's just very important to us that we be upfront about what we've developed what we know we can develop but haven't yet, and what we just don't know. What we believe very much is that Coinos will be our best attempt to resolve the major issues holding back blockchain adoption and denying people the empowerment that will come from owning and controlling their digital selves. If this sounds like a worthwhile mission, then we invite you to join us by firing up those miners. Finally, we really want to make sure that you receive important information like how to claim your tokens when mainnet launches. So be sure to join our mailing list by going to coinos.io or openorchard.io. Thanks for your time and happy mining.